Amen. We bless the Lord on tonight. Amen. For being in the building. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But tonight, amen, we would like to praise God. Bring forth, amen, a great man of God. Amen. Amen. Who's no stranger to us. Amen. He's our very own. Praise God. He is anointed and appointed by God. Amen. Oh, glory to God. I watched him down through the years and I only been here. A few years, I ain't gonna tell you how many. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> but I was able to watch him, amen, and watch my brother come up under him, yeah, amen. Yeah. And how my brother would honor this great man of God. And yeah. I would truly like to follow his footsteps to honor, amen. Yeah. Our Bishop Gaines, amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, glory to God, a mighty man. He's a powerhouse, amen. Yeah. Amen. And when he gets started, amen. Back in the day, he used to kick that leg up, amen. All you right. know he be doing something, amen. Yeah. He be like, oh, what bishop came up that do? Praise the Lord, giving God the glory and the honor for the great things he has done, amen. He's brought him through and brought him out, and you can see him today, amen. He's here to testify of the goodness of Jesus. That's something to give God glory and yeah. honor for. He's here to tell the story, yeah. amen, oh, glory to God, hallelujah, praise God. Maybe he will encourage you on tonight amen and let you hear a part of his testimony amen but at this time we want to receive this great man of God amen oh glory to God tonight we give honor and praise and glory amen for none of that our bishop bishop Herman Gaines on tonight put those hands together and give God praise amen, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Truly tonight, I bless God for being here. It's a blessing. Yes. Amen. Yes. Just to be in the house of the yes. Lord. Yes. I heard David said, I was glad when it said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Yes. And tonight I come for no other reason but to lift up that name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Praise worship said, how great is our God. Yes. I come to tell you tonight that there is none like him. None. There is none that can compare none. to the God that we serve. None. 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 Amen. Uh, Amen. Look back and think about the days of the creation when, when he stepped out from nowhere and he looked around and said, I believe I'll make me a world. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, what a mighty God we serve. Yes. Amen. Amen. What an awesome God we serve. Yes. He deserves all our praise. He yes, deserves all does. the honor. Yes. All of the glory. Yes. It belongs to him. Yes. I don't know about you tonight, but I'm willing to give God everything right, that yes. is due to him. Yes. Amen. I'm willing to give him all treat you like the Lord. No, and no. when I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all he's done for me, my soul cried, hallelujah. hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Yes. Amen. And I thank him for where he brought me from and what he brought me out of. Yes. What God delivered me from. I thank yes. God for all of those things. Yes. Matter of fact, I thank God for every trial, every test, yes. every situation, every yes. problem that he brought me through. Yes. I know it only come to make me strong. Yes. They didn't come to make me weak, but they only came to make me strong. Amen. I can say today I'm stronger now Amen. than I've been before yeah. because what God has done in my life. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We're going to move to the word of God. Go with me tonight to the book of St. Luke, 50, 50 chapter, that's it, uh, the 14th verse. St. Luke 15, just one verse. Thank you, God. Thank you. And it read, and when he had spent all, underline that, when he had spent all, there rose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. Yes. And he began to be and want. Yes. You may be seated. Father God, in the name of Jesus, yes. we come before the throne of grace. We come with thanksgiving, God. We come with praise. Yes. 
We come, God, thanking you for another day. We thank you, God, for this opportunity that we're able to stand in your presence and declare your goodness. We come, God, to thank you for all things. We thank you for dying down last night, God. We thank you for the angels that watched over us as we slumbered and as we slept. And we thank you, God, for waking us up this morning and clothes in our right mind, having the activity of our limbs, the blood running warm in our vein, God. We thank you for bringing us over the dangerous highways, God, to this destination. We thank you, God, for being so gracious, so merciful, and so kind, God. And we pray, God, that you would anoint these lips of clay that I may speak as oracles of you. Touch the ears of the listeners, God, that they may be able to hear what the Spirit has said to the church. And God, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Yeah. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Protocol has been established, but I thank God for my leaders tonight. Amen. Our pastor, yeah. amen, the apostle Janice Dillard, our covering, the yeah. bishop Frederick Washington, our bishop Keenan, amen. We thank God for you, all of you that sits in the body of Christ. We thank God for you tonight. Amen. I read that one more time. And when he had spent all there rose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And I want to talk on a subject tonight that simply says, don't lose what you got. All right. Trying to get what you don't need. All right. Don't lose what you got. All right now. Trying to get what you don't need. In my beginning, I would say it's a sad thing to lose all. Yeah. Amen. You put yourself in a state of poverty and a state of need when you have lost all. Yeah. Amen. As long as you've got something, you can always get something. Mm -hmm. But when you don't have nothing, praise God. Amen. You're unable to get nothing because you have nothing to fall back on. You have no security. Amen. You have nothing, amen, that people can say, well, what am I going to get back, amen, for this if I give you that? But you have nothing to bargain with. But don't lose all. Don't lose everything. Amen. Don't lose all you have trying to get what you don't need. In this life, we know that we are in the time of a pandemic where, amen, the virus is raging throughout the land. Yes, it is. But we are also living in a blessed time. Yeah. In this time and in this season, God is getting ready to bless. Amen. Amen. And in that time of going through, you got to learn how to stay focused on God. Amen. You got to learn how to look to the hills from which cometh all of your help. Realize and know that all of your help, it comes from the Lord. Amen. It profits you nothing, amen, to gain the whole world, and then lose your soul. Yes. Amen. Your soul is the only thing that God is required of you. Yes. Uh, it is your soul. Right. Amen. And you got to be able to come before God. You got to be able, amen, to reverence God in everything yes. that you do. Uh, you got to be able to, amen, go to God and, amen, tell God that the you are able, amen, to stand your test of stone. Yes. Uh, you are able to stand your test uh, of time. Yes. Amen. So many tonight have uh, given up on God. Yes. Uh, amen. Simply because, uh, amen, God doesn't bless them uh, the way they want him to bless them. Yes. Uh, but I come to tell you tonight that God got his own way of doing things. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, our ways are not God's ways. Our thoughts are not God's thoughts. We many times think that God is going to bless us in one way, but then God turns around and bless us in a whole different way. That's just how God is. Amen. God has a way that we can't go over. He's got a way that we can't go around. Yes. Uh, he's got a way that we can't go under, so we must come in at the door. Amen. amen. But I encourage you tonight to, to hold on, amen, to your integrity of faith. Uh, don't waver in the things of God. Uh, amen. Don't come short in your blessing, God. Don't come short in your serving, God. 
Uh, if you do anything for God, let it be real. Uh, do it with all of your heart. Do it with all of your might. God in return will reward you. Uh, amen. God says uh, he reigned on the unjust uh, as well as the just. Uh, amen. In other words, he blesses the unjust uh, as well as uh, he do the just. Uh, amen. But many times, many of us, amen, we forget about God. Uh, many times we turn our back on God. When, when God bless us, uh, he stands a great chance uh, of losing us. When God bless us, many of us forget about God. Uh, amen. We forget about uh, what God has done for us. Uh, we forget about how God uh, brought us through and brought us out. Uh, then we think we can go on and make it on our own. Uh, but I come to tell you tonight, uh, don't lose what you got. Uh, just because the grass, uh, the green on the other side, uh, amen, uh, is only an illusion. Uh, amen. It's a trick of the enemy to fool you and, and to draw you out from under the covering of God. To draw you out from under the auspices of God. Uh, amen. Uh, I come to tell you tonight that God, he cares for you. Uh, amen. God loves you. Uh, amen. God wants you to excel in life. Uh, God wants you to be all that you can be in life. Uh, many of us, we get a, a man beside ourselves with God seem to bless us. Uh, amen. We think we did it on our own, but I come to tell you, Tonight that you can make it on your own. Yeah. Uh, you need God. Yeah. Uh, amen. You need his guidance. Yeah. Uh, you need his protection. Yeah. Uh, amen. And you need his love and his kindness. Yeah. Uh, all of these things God has promised us. Yeah. If we would only serve him. Yeah. Uh, amen. The Bible said that we must lay down every weight and and every sin that seemed so easy to beset us. Uh, and then let us run this way th with patience uh, that is set uh, before us. Uh, amen. Don't lose what you got. Uh, amen. Look back in your life. Take an introspective view of your life. And look back and find out uh, where you come from. Uh, amen. What you have come through. And how you toil. And how you suffer to get where you are uh, and just to lose it all for nothing amen it doesn't seem right uh, amen it doesn't feel right to lose everything you have uh, come to tell you tonight you may lose that automobile but don't lose god you may lose a son or a daughter god forbid but don't lose on god you may lose a mother or father, but don't forget about God. Uh, don't get tied up in your situation uh, and walk off uh, and leave God. Uh, God controls uh, your destiny. Uh, God has your life uh, in his hand. Uh, and I come to encourage somebody tonight to uh, hold on uh, just a little while longer. Uh, amen. God will uh, see you through. Uh, God will uh, fight your battle. Yes, yes. God will uh, make a way for you. Yes. Uh, if you could just look beyond your circumstances. Uh, right. Look beyond your situation. Yes. And see God moving in your life. God uh, will make a way for you. Yes. Uh, but don't lose all. Uh, amen. Don't lose uh, your joy. Uh, don't lose uh, your love. Uh, don't lose your peace. Uh, yeah. Don't lose your happiness. Yeah. Uh, God is acquiring these things of you. Uh, yeah. And I come to tell you tonight, just uh, keep on keeping on yeah. in the Lord. Yeah. Uh, after a while, it'll all be over. Yeah. Uh, somebody said, serving the Lord, uh, it'll pay off uh, after a while. Yeah. Uh, but I tell you tonight, if you serve him, yeah. it'll pay off right now. Uh, in this walk of life, it will pay off. Uh, in this time and in this season, it will pay off. Uh, so hold on to God's unchanging hand. 
Everything is going to be all right. Uh, amen. Let me move on in this text tonight. It uh, says don't lose what you got uh, trying to get uh, what you don't need. Uh, right. In this story tonight, uh, in this text tonight, uh, there was a young lad. There was a father that had two sons. Uh -huh. uh, and the Bible said uh, that the young uh, came to his father and said, Father, give me the portions of good uh, that belong to me. Amen. And what I love about this story is that the father didn't have a drawback spirit. The father didn't have words to, to say with the son. But the Bible said he immediately divided his livings to the son. Uh, and the son, uh, a man, took them uh, and he went out uh, and found himself uh, and went into a far and barren land. Uh, and the Bible said that this young man began to join himself to a citizen of that country. Uh, remind me now that the son had everything that he wanted. Uh, he had all the money that he needed. Uh, he didn't have no need to go out uh, into another land uh, trying to make a living for himself. Uh, but this young lad had everything that he wanted right there at home. Uh, his father had plenty of money uh, and plenty of resources. Uh, this father also had servants uh, that did the work for them. Uh, this young man uh, had to do nothing but sleep and eat uh, in his father's house. Uh, but here he is going uh, into another land uh, trying to make a living uh, for himself. Uh, how many of us tonight have witnessed uh, so many of us we uh, have left home trying uh, to do something that we are not accustomed to doing. Uh, but while God is in your life, uh, I encourage you to, to stay with God. Uh, amen. Don't look to another uh, don't look for another source uh, when God is able to supply all of your needs. Uh, and the Bible said that this young man, uh, he found himself uh, in a foreign barren land. Uh, and the Bible tell me uh, there rose a mighty famine in that land. Uh, and he began uh, to be in want. Uh, he went to jobs and nobody would hire him. Uh, while he had uh, a plenty of money, everybody gathered around him. Uh, he went to the bar tavern uh, and he told the bartender uh, to set all the drinks up on the house. Uh, I'm paying for them. Uh, he told the restaurant owners, uh, amen, uh, to serve everybody here the finest of meal. Uh, amen. But there came a time in his life uh, that he had spent all uh, and he didn't have no money. Uh, and the Bible said he began uh, to get hungry and he began to be in want. Uh, and the Bible said uh, that he went to the job owners uh, trying to find him a job uh, for he had lost everything he had. Uh, he didn't have no more money. Uh, he lost the rings that he had uh, that his father had already gave it. He lost the shoes off his feet. He lost the clothes off his back. But I come to tell you tonight, don't lose all. Don't lose everything that you possess, that you know that is able to take you through in life. Hold on to something that value to you. Hold on to something that you may need in the time of trouble. Hold on to something that you may need in the time of a storm but the storm is coming in your life and you're going to need something you can fall back on you're going to need something that is able to carry you through life and I'm coming to tell you tonight you may lose that car you may lose that home but don't lose Jesus don't lose God in your life keep God as a high priority in your life keep him as a savior keep him as a doctor keep him as a 
a lawyer. He will fight your battle. And this young man, he got in a won't, but he had nothing. Nobody befriended him. Nobody gave him nothing. So he went to the jobs owners to find him a job. And the only job that was was stopping the flies or feeding the hogs. And the young man said, I'll take it. And one day, the young man got hungry, didn't have no food, nothing to eat, everything was gone. And the Bible tell me that this young man looked at the hog slot. Uh, and the Bible said uh, he would fill his belly with the hog flop. Uh, but the Bible said he fainted. Uh, and the Bible said lying there, uh, he came to himself. Uh, he thought about uh, all the servants uh, his father had. Uh, he thought about uh, all the food uh, his father had. Uh, back home, uh, he didn't have to ask nobody uh, for a piece of bread. Uh, all he had to do was go in the refrigerator and get whatever he wanted. But now here he is lying in the hog pen full of mud, full of dirt, full of mess in the hog pen. He said, I thought about my father. And the Bible said he rose up out of that mess, rose up out of that condition, said to himself, uh, all of the food uh, my father has, uh, all of the water uh, my father has, uh, here I am, uh, a rich man's son, uh, here I am, uh, a rich man boy, uh, lying in the hog pen, uh, nothing to eat, uh, no good water to drink, uh, I know what I'll do, uh, I believe I'll get up uh, and go back home, uh, I'll go back to my father, tell my father, what father, I've sinned before God and before you, no more worthy to be called thy son, but if you make me, yes sir, make me God, a higher servant, I'll be all right, yeah. Yes, Lord. And the Bible said one day that son made his way back to his father. And his father looked up, saw him coming a long ways off. And he said, look yonder, that's my lost son, one that was lost. But now he's found, one that was blind. But now he see, I know what I'll do. I'll take him back, told the servant, kill the fatty calf, let's be merry, my son that was lost has come back home, but the story hadn't in, it doesn't end there, that other boy, that other son that lived in the house got angry, told the servant, all of these years, I've been with my father, he never had a feast, for me, he never killed the fatted cat for me, but I come to tell you, in your going through, in the Lord, be glad for those that come back home, be happy for those that return to God, be joyful for those that give their life over to God, tell God bless them, raise them up, keep them God, clothe them God in your love. Close them, God, in your grace. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. But love them with the love of God. And I come to tell you tonight, don't lose what you got trying to get. What you don't need. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Hold on to it. Keep it treasure. Yes. Your soul is worth more than gold or silver. Yes. It's worth more than all of the money in the world. Yes. Your soul is the only thing that God is required of you. Yes. That money you got, that don't move God. No. That fine home, don't move God. Yes. That automobile, don't move God. Yes. The only thing God is required of you is your 
soul. Yes. That's when he's coming back for your soul. Yes. And if you lost your soul, mm -hmm. in hell will you lift up your eyes. Yes. Let me tell you, hell is a terrible place. Yes. We don't want to go to hell. No. Amen. Amen. Why well, many times you heard the old folks said, I want to go yes. where Jesus is. Yes. I want to go where Jesus yes. is. Yes. No more sickness, no more dying, no, no more heartache, no more pain. Mm -hmm. No more suffering is over there Amen. where Jesus is. Don't lose what you got yes. trying to get what you don't need. Amen. I know it's tough. I know it's rough. I know you go through some stuff. Rough stuff in your life. Yes. But my brother, my sister, you can make it. Yes. Yeah, you can make it. Just hold on. Yes. It's going to be all right. all right. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Yes. That nothing separates you from the love of God. Yes. Amen. It's going to be all right. The storm may rage. The wind may blow. Yes. Yes. But it's going to be all right. All right. Amen. He promises. He promises. Yes. He said in his word that if my people, which are called by my name, if they will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, he said, then I will hear from heaven. I will heal the land. I will open the doors and windows in heaven and pull you out of blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. And in this time and in this season, God is getting ready pour us out. Yes. He's getting ready to pour us out. That blessing yes. that we need, God is going to fix it for us. Yes. Some of us, God going to have a tsunami blessing. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's going to overflow you, run you down yes. and overtake you. Yes. God is going to do just that. Yes. Because he loves us so. Yes. Again, I encourage you to hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hallelujah. Don't let nothing shake your faith Hallelujah. in God. Yes. If God can't do it, it can't be done. So in my closing tonight, forget about what you're going through. Yes. Look to the hills yes. from which cometh all of your help. Yes. Know one thing, that all of your help, all of your it comes from the Lord. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Blessing time tonight. Yes. We're going to ask Amen. That you would be a blessing. Amen. We know that this is a pre-anniversary service. Yeah. It's for our woman of God. The one that labors with us. The woman that prays for us. Yeah. The one that watched over our soul. Yeah. Amen. And this, tonight we want to bless her. Amen. Real good. 